Hello and welcome to Better Body Movement. This class is designed to help you start feeling well. I have less pain, really, literally eliminate that pain. I just feel better. I can tell that my posture is changing. Bright light in the day when we've done our workouts online makes me feel so good about myself. The bicep is named that because there are two different attachment points near the shoulder. The short head attaches to the coracoid process, which is a part of the shoulder blade, and the long head goes over the humerus through the biceps channel and connects in the socket. Pain will be present inside your arm if there's a problem with the short head. If there's a problem with the long head, typically the pain will run over the shoulder. We're going to locate the head of the biceps that attaches near the forearm. To do this, flex your arm with your fingers on the bicep near the elbow and find the tendon at the base of the muscle belly. Simply pinch the muscle belly and extend the arm. If you feel like you're not getting enough pressure with your fingertips, use a lacrosse ball. Try one of two positions, either holding with your fingers or pressed with the palm into the bicep. I find I get better pressure when I use my palm Remember to squeeze and extend. Another muscle that could create bicep pain is actually in your forearm. This is the brachioradialis, which passes from the humerus towards the wrist. To begin working the brachioradialis, reach under the elbow across to the forearm and pinch down as hard as you can tolerate. Now rotate the wrist and the muscle should feel like it grinds underneath the fingertips. Do seven to 10 repetitions, then locate a new point and continue to grind over that muscle. You should feel the fingers drop off the muscle. When you finish, put the fingers on top of the arm, pinch down and create extension while rotating the wrist. Again, bend the elbow, then extend while you rotate the wrist. Notice my hand goes palm to chest then palm to floor while I'm extending my elbow. Perform seven to 10 repetitions and then move on to the next tender spot and repeat. When you have finished the pin and stretch, move on to cross fiber friction. Place the arm you are working across your knees, then grind the opposite forearm across the muscle tissue near the bicep head. This should be an abrasive force moving through the muscle tissue quickly Continue to press through that muscle tissue until you feel like you've broken down the entire thing. The bicep is named that because there are two different attachment points near the shoulder. The short head attaches to the coracoid process which is a part of the shoulder blade, and the long head goes over the humerus through the biceps channel and connects in the socket. Pain will be present inside your arm if there's a problem with the short head. If there's a problem with the long head, typically the pain will run over the shoulder. We're going to locate the head of the biceps that attaches near the forearm. To do this, flex your arm with your fingers on the bicep near the elbow and find the tendon at the base of the muscle belly. Simply pinch the muscle belly and extend the arm. If you feel like you're not getting enough pressure with your fingertips, use a lacrosse ball. Try one of two positions, either holding with your fingers or pressed with the palm into the bicep. I find I get better pressure when I use my palm. Remember to squeeze and extend. Another muscle that could create bicep pain is actually in your forearm. This is the brachioradialis, which passes from the humerus towards the wrist. To begin working the brachioradialis, reach under the elbow across to the forearm and pinch down as hard as you can tolerate. Now rotate the wrist and the muscle should feel like it grinds underneath the fingertips. Do seven to 10 repetitions, then locate a new point and continue to grind over that muscle. You should feel the fingers drop off the muscle. When you finish, Put the fingers on top of the arm, pinch down, and create extension while rotating the wrist. Again, bend the elbow, then extend while you rotate the wrist. 
notice my hand goes palm to chest, then palm to floor while I'm extending my elbow. Perform seven to 10 repetitions, and then move on to the next tender spot and repeat. When you have finished the pin and stretch, move on to cross fiber friction. Place the arm you are working across your knees, then grind the opposite forearm across the muscle tissue near the bicep head. This should be an abrasive force moving through the muscle tissue quickly. Continue to press through that muscle tissue until you feel like you've broken down the entire thing. The bicep is named that because there are two different attachment points near the shoulder. The short head attaches to the coracoid process, which is a part of the shoulder blade, and the long head goes over the humerus through the biceps channel and connects in the socket. Pain will be present inside your arm if there's a problem with the short head. If there's a problem with the long head, typically the pain will run over the shoulder. We're going to locate the head of the biceps that attaches near the forearm. To do this, flex your arm with your fingers on the bicep near the elbow and find the tendon at the base of the muscle belly. Simply pinch the muscle belly and extend the arm. If you feel like you're not getting enough pressure with your fingertips, use a lacrosse ball. Try one of two positions, either holding with your fingers or pressed with the palm into the bicep. I find I get better pressure when I use my palm Remember to squeeze and extend. Another muscle that could create bicep pain is actually in your forearm. This is the brachioradialis, which passes from the humerus towards the wrist. To begin working the brachioradialis, reach under the elbow across to the forearm and pinch down as hard as you can tolerate. Now rotate the wrist and the muscle should feel like it grinds underneath the fingertips. Do seven to 10 repetitions, then locate a new point and continue to grind over that muscle. You should feel the fingers drop off the muscle. When you finish, put the fingers on top of the arm, pinch down and create extension while rotating the wrist. Again, bend the elbow, then extend while you rotate the wrist. Notice my hand goes palm to chest then palm to floor while I'm extending my elbow. Perform seven to 10 repetitions and then move on to the next tender spot and repeat. When you have finished the pin and stretch, move on to cross fiber friction. Place the arm you are working across your knees, then grind the opposite forearm across the muscle tissue near the bicep head. This should be an abrasive force moving through the muscle tissue quickly. Continue to press through that muscle tissue until you feel like you've broken down the entire thing. The bicep is named that because there are two different attachment points near the shoulder. The short head attaches to the coracoid process which is a part of the shoulder blade, and the long head goes over the humerus through the biceps channel and connects in the socket. Pain will be present inside your arm if there's a problem with the short head. If there's a problem with the long head, typically the pain will run over the shoulder. We're going to locate the head of the biceps that attaches near the forearm. To do this, flex your arm with your fingers on the bicep near the elbow and find the tendon at the base of the muscle belly. Simply pinch the muscle belly and extend the arm. If you feel like you're not getting enough pressure with your fingertips, use a lacrosse ball. Try one of two positions, either holding with your fingers or pressed with the palm into the bicep. I find I get better pressure when I use my palm. Remember to squeeze and extend. Another muscle that could create bicep pain is actually in your forearm. This is the brachioradialis, which passes from the humerus towards the wrist. To begin working the brachioradialis, reach under the elbow across to the forearm and pinch down as hard as you can tolerate. Now rotate the wrist 
and the muscle should feel like it grinds underneath the fingertips. Do 7 to 10 repetitions, then locate a new point and continue to grind over that muscle. You should feel the fingers drop off the muscle. When you finish, put the fingers on top of the arm, pinch down, and create extension while rotating the wrist. Again, bend the elbow, then extend while you rotate the wrist. Notice my hand goes palm to chest. Then Here we go. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, good morning. Well, today we got our upper body day. Um, yeah, yesterday was core day. Now we got upper body day. Thanks for joining us here on the live, or you may be on the recording as well. So, yeah, thanks for joining. And um, as we go throughout the workout, be sure if you have any questions, uh, drop them in the comments down below. Um, especially if you're on the live one, I can get back to you while we're here on live. So, um, yeah. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them down below. Let us know you're here. Um, yeah. All right. So we'll start with the I dedicates. Today we're praying for Lori's mom doing dialysis three times a week. Uh, Ethan, stage four liver bile duct cancer. Shay's friend's wife diagnosed with breast cancer. Sky Twin transplant med side effects. Um, Kira done. Wasn't it? With now radiation. Just, man, gotcha. Effect. So done with the radiation, but now just praying for strength. Um, Jim Kira's dad, and then Jane uh, with brain cancer. So praying for all of them today throughout the workout, um, dedicating for them. And then for the verse of the day. And he stayed a year and six months teaching the word of God among them. Wow. Talk about I obedience think, and yeah. patience. I think, I think that's, that's awesome. a capital B. I think I'm talking about patience. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. And for the workout. Well, let's get started. Yeah, it could be or his, what was it, Luke? Ready? Luke, Luke wrote. Think about it, so think. Get ready. All right, small circles forward. Here we go. Starting out with our warm up. Want to get everything stretched out, nice and loose before we get into it. Small circles forward. Nice and easy. Now we're going backwards. All right, now large circles. Full range of motion here. Going as far back as you can, far forward as you can. Getting it all stretched out. All right, now large circles backward. Internal, external rotations. Again, here, try and get full range of motion. So you can see Shay over there on the far left. Let's see, shoulders coming back, shoulders coming forward. And that all stretched out. So we're over exaggerating these movements here to try and get stretched out. All right, now marches. Getting that heart rate up a bit now. There we go. Also having your arms stay moving. Good, now leg swings. So this one I don't want you to over exaggerate. We want this to be a nice smooth movement. Just going back and forth. Good. 
Good. All right, now switch legs. All right, now hip flexor stretches. So we got that back leg pretty straight there, front leg in a slight forward lunge position. Then we're pushing those hips forward, getting that good hip flexor stretch. Good job. Looking good, looking good. Good job. Keep going back and forth, holding for a couple seconds, and switching Three, to the other. Three, two, one. There we go. Get ready to roll. All right. Let's get started into our rows. Three, two, here we go. One, row. <laughs> All right, so we're keeping our elbows in here, elbows in, shoulders down and back, and we're just using our lats here. Our lat. Being this whole muscle. That's halfway. Down the back, under the armpit. Going down the back. So really focus on squeezing that muscle. And also, try to have a not too firm of a grip. Three, two, one. Because if you're holding one. super tight, your forearms Transition to chest are going to assist with the movement as well. And we want to be primarily the legs. Good morning. Good morning. Three, two, All right. one. Chest press. Now time for chest press. Now time for chest press. Again, shoulders down and back, nice and stabilized, so they're not moving all over the place. And also, so we can target um, our isolate, isolated muscle here, the pecs. So we want to keep that chest in front. That's halfway. Whether it's laying your body fall into the ground or into the wall or letting the bands come back. Just allowing it to come back and then as you're going forward, shoulders staying in the same place, squeezing the pecs. Three, and pressing two, one. Forward. Transition to biceps curl. Great job. On to bicep curls. Three, two, one. Biceps curl. Alright, here we go. Looking good, looking good. Alright, so that elbow is staying in the same location here. That bottom hand, the one. That's halfway. Pushing up. The other one, the top hand is acting as your resistance here, making it hard for that bottom hand to come up doing that bicep curl. Be sure Three, to switch hands. Two, one. Switch Transition hands to triceps overhead press. Good job. All right, triceps press. Three, two, one. Triceps overhead. So same thing with keeping that elbow in the same place here. So we want that to be in the same place. That shows that everything's stabilized, only using that tricep, doing that motion. If you're using momentum, that's going to take less effort from the tricep. That's and halfway. If you're moving in certain ways while you're doing the movement, other muscles are going to help out, which we do not want. We want to just target that tricep. Three, 
Three, two, one. Transition to fly. Three, two, Here we go. one, On to fly. Our pec flies, and so the shoulders are down and back, just as if you were just normal posture. So they're stabilized down and back, so when you're going back, same position. When you're going forwards, same position. We want to keep those shoulders back on the way forward, so we're squeezing the pecs That's together. That's halfway. We're bringing those shoulders together, too. We're going to start flexing in here. We want to keep those shoulders back, so it's just the pecs. Three, two, one. Good Transition job. to pull apart. All right. On to pull aparts. Three, two, one. Here pull apart. All right, so those elbows are staying in. As you're coming out at that intermediate level, if you're doing the band there, or with just around a little band around your hands, elbows, staying in as you're going out. That's halfway. With the basic level, shoulders down and back, you're just pulling apart as hard as you can. Every couple seconds, we're breathing, pulling, making sure we got the top contraction, the most 100% full contraction. And then at the advanced level, Again, Three, down and back. two, one. Pulling that band Transition apart. to hammer curl. Good job. On to hammer curls. Three, two, one. Hammer curls. Here we go. So, a lot like just a normal bicep curl, but the grip is a little different. Um, but anyways, that's so halfway. It's really the same thing. We're wanting to keep the elbow in the same place while we're doing this. Resistance with that bottom hand now, pulling down, so that it's hard on the way up. That's if you're doing the washcloths. Um, if you're using the band, we just have that hammer curl Three, grip, keeping those two, elbows in the same one. place. Transition Good to tricep press down. Three, Morning. two, one. All right. Tricep press down. Triceps press down. We got our last one here of the workout, or not of the workout, of round one. If you're new here, for our upper body day, we do four rounds. So, yeah, if this is your first time, uh, that's halfway. Try to stick around for as many as you can, and maybe two, maybe three. Um, but yeah, try to. Try to push yourself a little bit, but also knowing your limits, knowing your body and knowing your limits. Good, good Three, job. Two, one, rest. There we go. Just like that, round one is completed. Make sure to use this rest wisely. Use every second of it, whether it's getting some water, stretching out any sore muscles, walking around. That's halfway. So, Marsha, you said the. Uh, I know, whatever. A nurse. A nurse. Um, anything else, then? Three, two, yeah. one. Get ready to row. Okay. Well, I got most of that. Three, two, one, row. All right. Right back into it. Um, he's leaving. I think the 
Beginning of September. That's halfway. Maybe the fifth or sixth or something. I don't know. Um, it's right after Labor Day. Um, yeah, no. About a half month. Three. Um, two. But with these next one. couple weeks, he'll be transition he'll be to chest press. Just with different work things he has and uh, just connections he has for starting a podcast. Three, two, so doing that. one, chest press. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so he'll go to Texas here. Let me see. Which he's really excited for. I'm excited to visit. I've never been to Austin. I've been to Dallas, but not Austin. Apparently it's pretty, pretty cool. That's pretty halfway. Young. Like, I don't know. Like, it looks... Everything looks just new and modern. Yeah. Three, two, oh, okay. one. Transition to biceps curl. Yeah, so hopefully within the next couple months, I can try to take a take like a three. Three. Two, one, so biceps her. curl. <laughs> That's halfway. Halfway there. Keep on pushing, ladies. Doing great. Three, two, one. Transition to triceps overhead press. All right, now we got triceps press here. Triceps press. So, if you're any of these movements, when you're just doing Three, the holding. Three, two, one. Whenever you're just doing overhead. holding, we want you to be re-squeezing every couple seconds. So you'll have that initial first contraction. Or holding that press. But then after a couple seconds, I want you to squeeze again. So we're getting the most out of the workout. Because it could be pretty easy just That's to That's halfway. But we, I want you to make sure you're recontracting, making sure that that muscle is fully firing. Three, we want full two, extension on one. these triceps. Transition to fly. Good job. Three, two, one, fly. All right, now on to pet flies. So, just like we were saying, with the holding, I want you to do that now at the in intermediate level for this exercise. So with the pec flies just holding there in the middle, shoulders back. That's halfway. Pecs in front, they're squeezing together. Every couple seconds, squeezing those hands. Pushing yourself. Three, two, one. Transition to pull apart. All right, time for pull aparts. Three, two, one, pull apart. Here we go. Doing great, ladies. Let's keep keep pushing through, doing the best that we can. That's halfway. Good, good job. Three. Almost there. Two. One. Transition to there hammer curl. Go. 
Well done. On to Hammer Curls. Coming to an end soon to round two. Keep on pushing through. Doing great, ladies. Three, two, one. All right, so top one. hand doing the movement here. Hammer Curls. Bottom hand acting as that resistance if you're using the washcloth for this movement. Go on, make sure we're um, pulling down quite hard on that bottom hand, making it hard for that top hand. What we want to remember which what, with whatever variation we're doing for the bicep curls, we want those elbows That's halfway. to stay in about the same location. So we're using just the elbows. If they start coming forward as you're getting to the top of the movement, then your shoulders are going to contract. But we want the shoulders to stay in place, elbows to stay in place, working just those biceps. Three, two, one. Transition to tricep Good press job. down. Last one. Round two, we got tricep press. Three, two, so on this one, one remember tricep we want press full down. Contraction. So we want to get that full extension, locking that elbow, tracking that tricep. And then we also want to find ourselves a good pace. A good pace for That's us to stick way. to. Making sure you get all the reps you can get out of this round as you can. And especially when it starts to burn. When it starts to burn, you stick to that pace even though it sucks. <laughs> Three, two, one, rest. There we go. Well done, ladies. That's round two. We're halfway done. Halfway done, time to grab some water. Grab some water, stretch out. You're sore, this is your time. Before we hop right back into it to stretch out, I'm gonna grab some water quick here. That's halfway. Three, two, one. Get ready to row. All right. Three, two, one. Here we go. Round row. three. Round three, starting off with some rows, elbows in. Contracting those lats here. Hello. Morning. That's halfway. Good job, good job. Almost there. Keep on going. Three, two, one. Transition to chest press. Three, All right, here two, we go, chest press. One. Chest press. Remember, shoulders down and back to stabilize. That chest sitting in front of those shoulders as we're falling down into the movement. So that can either be falling down into that push up or that band coming back. We want to just allow it to come back. And then That's when we halfway. Come forward, we want those shoulders to stay back and those pecs squeezing. Giving you some force in that movement. Good job. Three. Keep on pushing, two, ladies. One. Transition to bicep curl. Time for bicep curls. Three. Two. One. Biceps curl. Here we go, so that top hand pushing down on that bottom hand, making it hard for that hand to go up. Remember, we want to That's keep halfway. the elbow in, around that same location the whole time. 
making all the pressure be on that bicep there. Three, two, one. Good job. Transition to triceps overhead press. Three, two, one. Triceps overhead. All right, triceps overhead press. Now here, you want to get that full extension for that full contraction. Again. Or also, just like the biceps, we want to keep that elbow in the same location, not letting any other muscles assist. That's halfway. That halfway there, be sure to switch arms. Work in that other tricep. <laughs> Three, two, one. There we go. Transition to fly. Good, good job. All right, now on to pec flies. Really important with working the pecs is getting those shoulders back, two, making one, sure it's just those fly. pecs working. That's halfway. Down. As we're coming forward, shoulders staying back, you're not coming all the way forward. I like this. Just staying back, allowing the pecs. Three. Pecs are squeezing two, together. One. Transition to pull a card. Here we go, pull apart. Three, two, one, pull apart. Good, good job. Remember, at the intermediate level, we want to keep those elbows in pinned. That's halfway. That's gonna target that posterior delt one. So the back of that shoulder. Great job. Three, two, one. Transition to hammer curl. All right, hammer curls. Three, two, one, hammer curls. All right, top hand, doing that bicep curl here. Bottom hand is acting as that resistance, pulling down while that bicep, that top hand's trying to pull up, making it hard for that bicep. That's halfway. All right, switching to the other side. Elbow staying in the same location while you're doing this movement. Three. We're almost two, there. One. Good Transition job. to Trissa right, press down. Alright, last one. Of round three. Keep on pushing. Remember finding a good pace for yourself. For you to stick to. Three. Even when you're getting two. Tired. One. Trissa press down. Good job. Getting that full extension for that full contraction here. That's halfway. Good job. Three, Almost there. Two. Almost one. there. Rest. There we go, great job, ladies. Round three is completed. We got one more round left. It's 
make this last round our best round. Marcia, how's the upper body day feeling after you said it's been two weeks? That's halfway. Three, two, one. Get ready to row. All right. Let's get started into round four here. Three. Our last and final two, round. One. Let's finish row. it off well. Getting started here with some some rows. Remember keeping those elbows in, targeting those lats. We don't want to be swaying back, swaying forward using no momentum and also trying to keep a, a more light grip That's halfway. with your hands there so we're not squeezing super hard doing the movement with our forearms we want to do it just with our lats here three two one Good transition job, to chest press Chest press. Here we go. Three, two, one. Chest press. I knew that was coming up when she. She, That's halfway. Yeah. What's her name? L. Three, yeah. two, oh, one. It. Transition to biceps curl. Oh, I'll see. Because I knew. Right. I think. Yeah, they didn't announce the name, but I think they announced the gym. Three, two, one. So. Biceps curl. Oh, really? Was it, uh, was it smooth? Yeah. Yeah. She did. That's halfway. Yep. Just five days, huh? Wow. How's Faith feeling? Huh? How's she feeling? Three, two, one. Transition to triceps overhead press. Yeah. Is there any, like, I don't know how this works, but is there, like, any? Three, two, one. Triceps overhead. Does, like, the mother experience. That's halfway. Three, two, one. Transition yeah. to fly. Yeah, that is true. You don't. You don't even realize. Yeah. 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 All right, peck flies. That's Remember halfway. Keeping the shoulders back, pecs forward, in front. Shoulders are staying back even when you're coming. 
front. Squeezing those pecs together. Strengthening those muscles. Three, two, one. Transition Good to pull job. apart. That's awesome to hear. Three, two, one. Pull apart. That's halfway. Yeah. I lost the bridge. They really wanted to have the Three, two, one. Transition to hammer curl. Yeah. She was my brother, my mother's brother and sister. Like her brother and sister. Three, two, one, hammer curls. That's halfway. What do you do then? So what a person is, these B branches, one of the purple branches, still in existence. Okay. Three, two, one, hammer curl. Transition to tricep press down. Three, two, one. Trissa, press down. Yeah. You have to get out there. Yeah, wherever there was a cross shelter. Like Chicago and Denver and, you know, all the places in between, you can think they would have a big cross shelter. Yeah. And my dad was with me. He was a teacher. One of my stories is that my brother told me that I... That's halfway. Um, the veterinarian in Denver Three, two, one. Way to be rock star. Oh, my dad just traveled. But when we got on the farm, his brother in law bought a piece of land right down the street. And he was a veterinarian. So, Uncle Dodd bought the farm. My dad raised very short. Mm -hmm. It was very active in the cabinet situation and he knew every auctioneer. Yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. Wow. Well, wow. When we go to these association picnics, and stuff, because they have pedigrees, <laughs> I don't know if you know what that means. Uh, <clears throat> no, not. Okay. I don't. I've. You, out to, no, you no. see these big, big feed on operations. Okay. Those cabinet pedigrees. Well, you know that. And the mother of the pig, and it's or the pig, the cow, mm -hmm. the cattle, and then you actually have a piece of paper. So my dad raised registered short is what that means, and that means they're pedigree. Okay. Mm -hmm. And because my dad knew a little bit about cattle, that he was he organized these uh, uh, short horn association get togethers, mm -hmm. and he showed cattle from my uncle. My dad didn't have. Another brother in law is had cattle lived over by Wesley. Do you know where Wesley is? On the other side of right between Wesley mm -hmm. and Algoma. I know. Or between kind of Britain and yeah. Yep. And uh, yeah. that yeah. uncle of mine had show cattle with me. And my dad showed cattle all the state fairs, and I love mm -hmm. that. I didn't do it a lot, but. I've never been to it. Yeah. To actually see cattle mm -hmm. being shown with the prod stick and everything. And that's what my dad did. Really? And that's that was his job. Did to, that was his job when he was on that ranch wow. in Wyoming. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So my dad was born in 1907, the youngest of 16 kids. 16. No multiple births. So my dad's oldest brother 
is 26 for my dad. Think about 26 childbearing years. And one mother. One mother, no multiple births. She lived to be 90. It's not my grandma's yet. Uh -huh. And she raised two other children besides her own. Really? Now, what my dad said was that he was raised by his older sisters. Yeah. Which you can imagine, if you know anybody even now with yeah. large families, you know that the older kids help the kids. Uh -huh. That's yeah. just oh, yeah. the way of the world. Yeah. And it should be. That's that. how it should be, yeah. 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 So he, and then my dad had two sisters and a mom. Oh, yeah. He said his dad, Michael, mm -hmm. put them on a train and said, Bye, you're going to the town. Mm -hmm. Now, if that actually happened that way, <laughs> because they stayed there until they died, you uh -huh. know what I mean? It wasn't yeah. like they said, I'm not doing this, yeah. I'm leaving. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, I'm going to close out this. Oh, man. Can this. you imagine? Um. Thanks for joining us, Lee. Sorry, oh, busy talking to rant. talking to Marsha. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much for joining today. Um, great, great work. Um, finished our upper body day, and tomorrow will be our lower body working legs tomorrow. So yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Um, again, continue praying for these people. Um, we really, really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, God hears your prayers. And also stick around for the SMR after. And, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Remember, we're here to help you move well, so you live well. The bicep is named that because there are two different attachment points near the shoulder. The short head attaches to the coracoid process, which is a part of the shoulder blade. And the long head goes over the humerus through the biceps channel and connects in the socket. Pain will be present inside your arm if there's a problem with the short head. If there's a problem with the long head, typically the pain will run over the shoulder. We're going to locate the head of the biceps that attaches near the forearm. To do this, flex your arm with your fingers on the bicep near the elbow and find the tendon at the base of the muscle belly. Simply pinch the muscle belly and extend the arm. If you feel like you're not getting enough pressure with your fingertips, use a lacrosse ball. Try one of two positions, either holding with your fingers or pressed with the palm into the bicep. I find I get better pressure when I use my palm. Remember to squeeze and extend. Another muscle that could create bicep pain is actually in your forearm. This is the brachioradialis, which passes from the humerus towards the wrist. To begin working the brachioradialis, Reach under the elbow, across to the forearm, and pinch down as hard as you can tolerate. Now rotate the wrist, and the muscle should feel like it grinds underneath the fingertips. Do seven to 10 repetitions, then locate a new point and continue to grind over that muscle. You should feel the fingers drop off the muscle. When you finish, put the fingers on top of the arm, pinch down, and create extension while rotating the wrist. Again, bend the elbow, then extend while you rotate the wrist. Notice my hand goes palm to chest, then palm to floor while I'm extending my elbow. Perform seven to 10 repetitions, and then move on to the next tender spot and repeat. When you have finished the pin and stretch, move on to cross fiber friction. Place the arm you are working across your knees, then grind the opposite forearm across the muscle tissue near the bicep head. This should be an abrasive force moving through the muscle tissue quickly. Continue to press through that muscle tissue until you feel like you've broken down the entire thing.